New York City, clearly the number one city in the world. Not even close, don't add me. Just became a little less expensive? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You have to pay to go below 60th Street. What an interesting way to do that. Passenger cars on peak hours is going to be $15 below 60th Street if you go from 61 to 59. If you're in a truck, it's $24 to $36 depending on size. If you're in an Uber or Lyft, there's a $2.50 surcharge. And of course, if you're on a motorcycle, we can't forget about you. That's $7.50. Just drive on the sidewalk or on the bike lane. That's what I would do. The goals for this tax by the MTA is going to be reduce traffic congestion. That is going to do that. Improve air quality. It's already the best out of all major cities. Yeah, I'm a little biased, but it's true. And fun public transportation. We've been hearing that for years. And all the people in the comment section that said, well, if you can afford to drive it below 60th Street or into New York City, you can easily afford this. Hello, hello, anyone have? Do you understand that the trucks that deliver the products are going to pass that on to the consumer? Kind of like Dodd Frank and the banks that were like, oh, uh, sorry about 2008, but your closing costs are going to be a little bit higher because we got dinged by a bill. What do you guys think about this? Because to be honest, I think your groceries might be a little bit more. That's just an honest opinion.